The first time I tried on the Rolex Yachtmaster 2, I was shocked from the massive weight and size bump this watch brings to the table. The watch simply stuns upon picking it up. But that was over 365 days ago. What about today? It still has the same effect. I'm Kevin Leo, and this is the Yachtmaster 2 One Year Later Review. In case you guys haven't seen the original review, or just need a quick recap. The Yachtmaster 2 features a 44mm case, water resistant up to 100 meters, Rolex's 4161 in-house movement, an oyster band with 5mm easy link technology, and was purchased for a nickel shy of 35,000 US dollars. The year I spent with this watch so far has been filled with nothing but surprises. I'm surprised by how beautiful the watch is. I know this is very, very subjective in the watch world, but to me, it's truly an eye-catching masterpiece. And I honestly didn't think it would have this effect on me over a year later. When you raise your wrist to check the time and get lost in its beauty, you know you made a great purchase. I'm still surprised by the weight of this watch. It might not be as shocking as when I first got it, because I expect it now, but picking it up out of the case still shocks me. And if you're not like some people out there who wear army tanks on their wrists, this watch will constantly remind you that you are wearing it. FYI, clapping in church definitely hurts. Another surprise to me was how versatile the watch is to any attire. Whether formal, casual, or a night on the town, it's the perfect companion for any look. Which really is a pleasant surprise. I honestly thought I would only be wearing this at suit and tie gatherings, but I was wrong. A very welcome accessory to your inventory, whether that inventory is for business or pleasure. Another surprise to me was how many scratches I've put on this watch of the year. Now this isn't the fault of Rolex or anything. I've owned a few Rolex watches in my lifetime and I've not scratched any of them as much as this watch so quickly. I guess because I had this watch on my radar for so long that when I finally acquired it, it just never really came off my wrist. It just goes to show you how much I love this watch. I've been treating it like a daily driver. When it's clearly not supposed to be that kind of watch. In my opinion, anyways. So what's my final thoughts on the Yatmaster 2? Well, for one, I could definitely tell you guys that I'm happy with my purchase. I look at this watch and I get lost. It's like love at first sight over and over and over again when I look at this watch. It's truly an amazing piece of jewelry. And I think out of Rolex's entire catalog, this is my favorite watch that they've created to date. Truly a masterpiece. There's a reason I bought this watch. This watch isn't as popular as the BLNR, or as they call it, the Batman, or the Pepsis. This watch is easy to find. It's not impossible to get. You could walk most likely in any Rolex store, and if they don't have it in stock that day, you could get it as soon as possible. No waiting list required. So that just goes to show you that I didn't buy this watch over reputation or fame or to get on the hype train, as people say, to join everybody else in this uh, stainless steel race of sports watches. I bought this watch because I love the look and feel. If you gave me the option to go back in time to right before I bought this watch, I would buy it all over again. Truly a fantastic piece by Rolex, and it gets a 10 out of 10 from me, 10 out of 10 times. Truly love this watch. In the year I've been wearing it, outside of family and friends, I've gotten around 8 to 12 compliments on this watch. The watch is still working flawlessly, 
in Rolex's promised minus two plus two second timing. The regatta timer, although I've only used it really when I'm recording videos, still works flawlessly and hopefully one day I'll be able to get to a race and time it for you guys. That would be a nice extra video for this channel. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'm Kevin Leo with Rolex Reviews. If you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and God bless.